Over the last week, I represented my state, New South Wales, to compete at the Australian National Championships. We haven't won the title for 12 years, so our goal as a team is to break our losing streak and finally win the gold for New South Wales. Every person on our team has been training hard in the last few months, so we're in peak condition. So if there's ever going to be a time where we're going to reclaim the title, this is going to be the year. So we flew over to Bendigo, tested out the courts and did some light training, and prepared for our first match against Victoria's second team. So there's a total of five matches for each round. We've got women's singles, men's singles, women's doubles, men's doubles, and mixed doubles. And I'll be playing the men's doubles for the first round. After we did the team introductions, we got off to a first match, which is men's singles. Our men's singles specialist Jay got to a bit of a slow start in the first set and was losing 11-5. But he clutched through and ended up winning the first set 21-19 we got into rhythm in the second set as well, winning 21-8. Next up was women's singles, and Tiffany had recently come back from a Europe tour, so she was in good form, and won comfortably 21-7, 21-7. And next it was my turn for men's doubles. I've never played against these guys, so I actually wasn't sure what to expect. But we got off to a good start and maintained our lead across the entire game and won 21-8, 21-6. Our team then won the women's doubles match, and then also the mixed doubles match, closing the first match of the tournament 5-0. Round 2, we're up against Tasmania. First match is mixed doubles, Jay and Karina. Jay's mostly a singles player, but we decided to give him a shot playing mixed doubles, and he didn't let us down. But then on the last point, this happened. So it turns out badminton can actually be a bit of a dangerous sport. But thankfully, the shuttle didn't hit the rise, and she was okay. Next, Ricky played his first match of the tournament and gave a solid performance in his men's singles match. And Prisca also had won her women's singles comfortably, only giving away a total of 8 points the entire match. Me and Ricky were up next. Our opponents surprised us with some powerful shots at the start, but we quickly got used to their playstyle and stayed on top the rest of the game. And finally, Prisca and Karina won pretty comfortably, closing the match up 5-0 once again. And to celebrate, Ricky cooked up some Japanese curry, and it wasn't too bad at all. We were definitely the favourites in this matchup, but tomorrow we'll be up against South Australia and they've beaten us in previous years. Round 3 of Nationals, we're up against South Australia and my god that was a close one. First game is men's singles and Ricky's opponent was an absolute unit. He had a really strong smash and as a result we ended up losing our first game of the tournament. Next was women's singles. We had high expectations for Tiffany but she actually lost the first set and was down 17-18 in the second set. However, she ended up pulling through and won the really tight match in 3 sets. I was up next playing with Risky and we won our game quite comfortably. And at this point, we were 2-1 up and we just needed to win one more game. However, our women's doubles pair, Priska and Sylvie, lost their first set and they were fighting with their all to win the second set. And it was super close and went all the way up from 20 all to 28 all. But they made a few errors and ended up losing in two sets. So now the score is 2 all and it all comes down to the mixed doubles. And we were all feeling a bit nervous. As soon as they started, however, it was clear that our players, Frankie and Setiana, were completely in control and they won in straight sets, giving New South Wales a victory 3-2. This was a really close call, and if Tiffany hadn't won her women's singles, things might have gone another way. But now we're through the semi-finals, and we'll be up against Western Australia tonight. Semi-finals. The thing is, up until this point, we've been playing in a round-robin format. So what that means is we can actually afford to lose one game. As long as we place in the top two of our draws, we're able to make it out of the round-robin into the semi-finals. But now that we're already in the semi-finals, we can't afford to lose any single matches. So from here on out, we're putting our number one lineup. The first game was mixed doubles and Risky and Setiana were both flying all over the courts and completely dominated the game. Next up, Jay was back on for men's singles and he played an amazing game and hit some really solid smashes, giving us another win. So now we're up 2-0. Prisco was up next for women's singles and she gave him a good try, but unfortunately she ended up going down straight sets. Fourth game was men's doubles and we put on the Indonesian pair, Risky and Frankie, and this was the most entertaining match I've seen so far. They got a huge lead and even started toying with their opponents a bit, but then our opponents started catching up so they quickly finished off that game, securing us the win 3-1. Because this is the semi-finals, we only need to play until we get 3 points, so we didn't get to play our women's doubles this time. And now we're finally through to the finals against Victoria. They've won 10 out of the last 11 titles, so they're always the clear favourites. But our team has been training hard and we're determined to win for the first time in the last 12 years. And so it all comes down to our match tomorrow. Finals against Victoria. They've won 10 out of the last 11 titles, so this is going to be a very tough one. First round was mixed doubles and our players Setiana and Risky were up against this year's Oceania mixed doubles champion. Setiana displayed her amazing control at the front court, winning the first set. However, they went down the second set with a really close court and it all came down to the third set. All of us watching from the sidelines gave our full support and they ended up winning third set 21-17 in the marathon one hour match. It was a great start and we're 1-0 up. Next, Jay's up for men's singles against last year's national champion. Jay's only 18 years old and he put up a great fight. Managed to win the second set, but he unfortunately went down the third set. So now we're one set all. Tiffany's up next and she played with a lot of spirit and energy, running all over the court and she was able to secure the win 
bringing our team scores to the one. So now we just need one more win, but the next two matches are going to be the toughest. For the men's doubles, our opponents are this year's Oceania men's doubles champions. And for women's doubles, we're up against two-time Olympians. So even just getting one win is going to be tough. So men's doubles up, and our players Risky and Frankie came in full of confidence, but our opponents were this year's Oceania men's doubles champions. But our opponents are tough, so they were neck to neck the whole way through. They lost the first set and made a comeback, winning the second set. So now it's down to the third set once again. Our players got off to a good start, reaching 11 first, but then things took a turn and our opponents started catching up and they actually got to match point first. And just when we thought we might have had the chance to catch up, they fumbled it and now teams are tied 2 all. So, the gold medal ultimately comes down to the final women's doubles match. Our girls Sylvia and Setiana started strong, but they lost the first set and we all started getting real nervous. Are we gonna lose this matchup after all? But they fought hard and won the second set, bringing it to one set all. Then once again it was all down to the final set. Every single point was a grind, they were fighting with everything they had, and finally, after a one hour long match, wow. after a 12 year losing streak, New South Wales finally wins the national team championships. And as the team captain, they even got me to do a speech at the end. So first of all, I just want to say, super exciting that we finally broke the 12 year losing streak of New South Wales. Now our attention is shifted to the individuals event, where every person is competing for themselves in a knockout competition over the next three days. So it's not time to relax just yet. 